It is said that desperate situations call for desperate measures, or rather, measures that match the circumstances. Undoubtedly, what is happening in England is not much simpler. The health of Charles Ilo continues to cause concern for his well-being, and the health of the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, let's say, is not far behind. There is still a great uncertainty around the wife of Prince William, the heir to the throne, about whom, according to reports from recent days and weeks, one can say, and it is painful to say, that she is closer than ever to power. And they say that the health of Charles I.I. may lead to an unexpected abdication due to the devastating effects that he is suffering from chemotherapy. But the truth is that what concerns us today has nothing to do with Carlos, not so much with William, although we will see later that yes, but with Kate Middleton and Prince Harry. Harry, who opened up on the channel, one could say, with an interview for Good Morning America, in which he admitted that he loves his family and that the moments of difficulty and even more illness he sees every day is foundation Invictus Games, in which he sees how families, returning after the war, strengthen ties even more, precisely because of hardships. And in this sense, he compares something like a war, but a family level, what has been happening for a long time, and he wants to take advantage of precisely the difficult moments of Charles I.I. and also of the Princess of Wales, to take a step forward and do what he promised he would never do again, that is, return to the monarchy, even temporarily. So he points out and supports it from the most reliable and solvent media that exist in England, as is the British newspaper Times. From here, logically, all the news reporters, all without words, they say, not only Charles III looks with contempt at Harry's return. The truth is that around this brief meeting, which took place on February 6 in Clarence House, in the house, in the residence, it is not anymore, but it has been for 20 years of His Majesty the Kings of England. That's where they have been until now, they are in Sandringham recovering, as we all know, of that terrible cancer. But the truth is that the meeting was there, they say, because the royal advisers of Charles I.I. of England did not wish that Harry stayed more than the account in Palatine. It is the reason that logically awakens certain distrust from a father to his son, which is quite sad, but also quite distrust from his brother. William, because William says that he understands that Harry and Meghan are unreliable people, that you cannot trust them, that you cannot forgive them, and that there is a 0% probability. Be careful because this is crushed by William. The news comes in quotes. A 0% of possibilities that William accepts the return of his brother to what they call the real riddle. Something that as we see increasingly seems more and more complicated. With this logically, we get two readings, one that Ed Middleton that, Somehow he would like the brothers to get along well and a William, because here comes the striking and true news, that thinks that everything the opposite considers that Harry's return would end up evoking Meghan's return. Meghan has said truly terrible things about the Princess of Wales, and William understands that the main reason why Harry cannot return to England is first, because he cannot trust him and second, because they say that he wants to be very protective with his wife, and feels that all this that Harry and Meghan's return could not be too beneficial to Kate Middleton. This would confirm the latest information that we have heard from England, where they tell us that Kate Middleton, before Harry's visit, was a bit confused, could be upset, disturbed or simply annoyed, that at a moment of complete recovery, she felt that somehow her worst sensations, so to speak, the worst remarks that she put neither more nor less in her memories, Harry, especially after some incidents with Megan, they were repeated, they were played again, they were resonating in her head again, and this, logically, existed in England because it was becoming a real nightmare for the Princess of Wales. In this sense, the information is somewhat similar, not so much Kate, who says yes, that she is, happy that Harry comes back to his family. But as they say, William not only wants to forbid his brother from coming back, but they also say that the reason why he does not want Harry to come back is because he feels that this could hurt his wife again. So this is the sad and delicate last word, which seemed like a gesture that could make Kate Milton happy with these media. At the same time, we are not surprised at this move, a surprise we could say, by Prince Harry and Prince Henry 
would have generated a very bad taste for his brother, Prince William, who effectively considers that the return of his brother to the monarchy would mean more or less that Kate Milton would revive his worst fears, his worst fantasies and face some of the most difficult moments. The truth is that Harry also said very beautiful words in Esperanto, such as, Kate Middleton is the sister he never had, who has always been a person who has tried to help her brother so that he gets along with him, and that of course, we are shocked by the information as we have found. We do not know if this is a positive news or if it is a negative news again, but the evidence is that Harry, in a moment of difficulty, says, look guys, I know I've done terrible things, but I'm willing to help because I think in these situations you have to overcome the differences. That's what Harry did. I think it's worth applauding. And on the other hand, we meet Charles I.I., who does not trust his son too much, and especially with Prince William, heir to the throne, who they say is about to reign. Sorry if I say it too much, but it's the information that follows. That they keep commenting in England, at least in Petit Comite, and the truth is that we see that not only does Harry not receive the beneplast from his father, but he also receives the prohibition from his brother, and this is logically very sad, isn't it? It's very sad that a person wants to help, and not only they don't let him, but they also accuse him of complicating or worsening, which is even worse the health of the Princess of Wales.